Hey guys, this is your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Listen, a lot of people have been asking for this, so I'm going to give it to you guys. Thanks to your boy Michael Z, we here going to give you a couple of things, how to install Node.js and the starter kit. And pretty much you can use this to any system that I create, any starter kit that I use, you can pretty much use it for those, right? So the first thing you want to go to is Node.js.com. Make sure you download either the stable or, you know, it depends if you really want to be on the bleeding edge, you can download the most current one. But I will say download the stable one, the one that's recommended for you. Usually it's the one on the left. All right. Make sure you open the file. Then from there you go in, accept everything. It's going to install it as a program. Click install. right might take a little while okay click finish next thing you want to do is go to my github so you want to go to github.com slash coding phase.com or you could just google me like that github coding phase you will see it automatically the one that says started kit 2018 now there is an example. You can pretty much any starter kit that I use, you could pretty much use it like this and install it the same way. Now I'm showing you the starter kit 2018. You could use it for the hyper app starter kit, you could use it for the phaser JS starter kit. It doesn't matter. They all pretty much doing the same thing. Alright, so you download it or you could clone it. But for now, what we're going to do is we're just going to download it, okay? Make our lives easier. Going to put this on the desktop so you don't lose the file. All right, currently opening Visual Studio Code. Even though I say, hey, use Atom, you could use Visual Studio Code, you could use Sublime, you could use brackets, it doesn't matter, whatever you want to use. Personally, I recommend Atom, but for this quick example, we're going to use Visual Studio Code. Pretty much extract it. Okay. What we did was open it with VS Studio Code. As you can see, inside of it, there's the project. All right. Now there's an issue that a lot of people are having, right? When they um, basically unzip the file, right? They come here and they run the terminal, all right? So let's say they say npm install. We're gonna show you a little something here. We're gonna change to the desktop, all right? And then from there, go into the starter kit folder. Then right there, most people will say npm install on that one, right? But you're going to notice there's an error. And that error is the error that everybody keeps bumping into, all right? You have to make sure you're inside of the folder right because think about it like this there's a folder called starter kit 2018 master and then inside of it there's another folder called starter kit 2018 master so you have to go inside of the starter kit 2018 master for some reason this is how windows work like when you unzip it this happens so that's the error that people are having all right Also, make sure you're downloading a stable version of Node.js. And if you follow the steps, you're going to be fine. All right, guys. What we're going to do is, I'm going to show you right now. You see that there's a folder inside of the folder. 
<laughs> I know it doesn't make sense, but that's how it comes out when you unzip it. All right, so you have to change into that same directory. As you can see, starter kit 2018 dash master, and then inside of it, starter kit 2018 dash master, and then run npm install. Everything's gonna go through. All right, you have all your packages, pretty much everything is fine. Then, right there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna say npm run watch. Then, a window's gonna pop up. As you can see, another window popped up, and that's the localhost 3000. Now, if for whatever reason on your computer it doesn't pop up, just go manually to localhost 3000. That's it. If you see that page, that means it's working and everything is good. All right, guys, you should be fine now. You know, like I said, I want to thank Michael Z for creating this video for me. And yeah, man, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video, man. I really appreciate it. And yeah, visit the website, guys. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video that you just saw right now. I just want to remind you that, hey, check out the description below. Make sure you click in there, man. I have a couple of links, man, that's going to save you money, save you time, and get you on your journey as a developer, man. I have the best courses here of Udemy. I also have my courses here from Udemy. But at the same time, if you want to come to my website where I'm basically releasing courses every single day, you could sign up for a subscription that is 50% off, guys. Straight up 50% off on everything. You have the monthly subscription, $10 a month, $45 a year, one-time purchase, $150. A lot of people have been signing up. I have over 5,000, basically 5,000 people who have signed up to the website. Really enjoying the website right now, guys. Like, seriously. I'm over here breaking down topics that will be harder for a lot of people to learn and now I'm making it easier more accessible for you guys you know it's a very good discount uh, basically you are getting everything that you want for 10 bucks a month every single day new courses new videos are being released we're talking about over 20 courses for ten dollars it's the best way to save money guys and it's like it's a really good way for you guys to get your career started with very little investment all right guys so i'll see you guys later make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video and bye